Hi, this is Tom with the third episode in this series showing you how to make a detailed keyboard in Blender. In this episode, we'll be making the, both the plate and the PCB. I'll be showing you a simple trick to punch out all the holes with one boolean, so let's get started. This series includes four modelling tutorials as well as two dealing with texturing. I'm going to upload a new episode each day, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. I'm going to assume that you know the basic functions of Blender, but to recap, to add an object is Shift A. To switch between edit mode and object mode is tab, to zoom in and out is scroll wheel, and to orbit around your part is middle click and move your mouse. All that's changed is that I've added all of the switches and placed them in the right place, which is good. And now we're going to make the plate and hopefully if we've got time the PCB. So let's for the minute hide the switches because we don't need them at the minute. We will need them later so do not delete them or anything like that. So yes, we're making the plate first. So first thing to do is add a plane. So we're going to add a 95mm plane which fits that. So make sure it's a square for now because we're going to add a bevel and bevels don't work on rectangles as you'll know from the, the keycaps guide. So now we're going to extrude this plane around 1.5mm, which is about the thickness of a PCB. And we're going to select the outside corner piece, edges, these pieces. And we're going to bevel them about that much, not much, and we only need around 4 and about 3mm. That looks good. And then now we're going to select the outer corner, outer top edge, the top edge, and we're going to bevel that along with the bottom edge as well, so like that. You do that by pressing Alt, Shift, click. So there you go. And then we're going to go Control B to bevel. And we're only going to give this a slight two mils, two segment, point two mil uh, bevel because we don't want it to be completely sharp because nothing is and then we're ready to extend the PCB to fit the entire keycap set so you grab the edge vertices there and you drag them on the x-axis to the end of your keycap set that looks about right leaving a little bit of a gap between so now we're done with the keycap so we can get rid of them but we are not, and we can then bring back the switches, which will hopefully be not. There we go. So we are making the plate, which hold it holds the switches in place. So it would go there. So it would go. The switches would rest with their little lip on the on the plate, and then the PCB would go underneath here. So yeah. I'm going to be making that later, but for now we need to make the holes for the switches to go in and it will, it will be unsurprising for you to hear that we're going to be using a boolean modifier and we're going to be punching it through like a hole punch, so if you imagine we're going to be stamping out the metal. So we're going to have to make a stamp. So for that we're going to use, I'm going to use a cube. So. not that big either so we're gonna scale that to be just larger than our switches so we need to have our switches in view and have it have this cube slightly larger or slightly smaller sorry than the switch which so that's about right so that is for reference that is 13.6 millimeters square and that looks fine for me and I'll get a reference photo up but if you look at the um, plate in real life it's kind of like a it's, it's like a bent in shape it's got like little recesses on either side where it clamps the switch in place so we're going to make that right now so if, but first we need to stretch it on the x axis because it needs to clamp somehow so we're going to make it slightly rectangular like that a bit less that's that's just enough only slightly and now we're going to make those little recesses. 
And to do that, I'm going to go into edit mode, turn off x-ray because we don't need it anymore, select this edge or this edge, press ctrl r to add an edge loop and then scroll wheel 2 so it's split into thirds and then press escape and that's fine. So now we're going to move these two, these two faces in slightly. So we're going to select this face, extrude it around one millimeter and then we're going to we're going to fix this by selecting this edge and this edge and pressing dissolve edges don't delete them because it just messes up the face because you're deleting half the, the geometry so now select this face and we're going to do the exact same minus one millimeter and then we're going to get rid of these two edges here dissolve edges and that's the basic shape we've got we need and it look, it's looking a bit square and we don't want that so we're going to add a load of bevels to this so the inside ones here on this little inset here are going to be very small that's fine so it says 50 mil here around 50 mil but I think that's a bit wrong so it might be different for you just make it so it looks like that and two segments is fine for this scale maybe maybe three and now we're going to do the outside you don't want too many segments, otherwise it takes forever to render. So now we're doing the outside, and this can be quite... You need quite a few segments here, because it's quite big, like the other one. But now we can do that, and that's about 250. There you go. Maybe 200. That looks good. We don't want it too square. So that is the shape we're going to be punching out of the plate for our key switches. So now we're going to duplicate that whilst in edit mode. Wait, there are many ways to do this, but I'll only be going through this one. If you want to use an array modifier, make sure to keep the shapes as one object. And you'll need to add any extra holes necessary later on. Skip to the time shown on screen to see that step and to skip this one. So select all by pressing A and pressing duplicate for each of your switches. Make sure to do it in edit mode, not in object mode, because you want this to be one body. And we're coming up to the final one here, and then we're done. So now we've got all of the holes for the switches, but if we were to punch these holes now, it would be almost impossible to add any extra holes later on. So we're going to do that now. And we need some screw holes and we need some holes for the stabilizers. And also we need to extend some of, the, of these holes to fit larger switches. So select these vertices and stretch them or extend them out using GX and extend the final one and that looks good so now we just need to add the holes for screws and there should be at least four I'm gonna put four in but you would also do that in and add in a cylinder which has 16 vertices and is around, it's got a 6mm diameter, so maybe a 2.5. There we go, that looks right. So one here, we're going to put one there, and then duplicate, we're going to put one in the middle here. Maybe that, there we go, and duplicate that. Put it around here and duplicate that up here. So we want them evenly spread around and we can add one down here if we need that. I'm going to put it there. But you can use reference photos, you can make it as, as accurate as you like, but yeah, I'm going to put them there. And now we need to make holes for stabilizers. Now, for most of them we're done, but the space bar has two rectangles either side I'll put a reference photo on the side if I've not already done already but we're gonna add two rectangles not that big and we're gonna put them around here 
to stretch out on the y-axis like this. And then we're going to duplicate that and move it around here. And I'll put a reference photo up again. And that looks good. So now we're ready to punch the hole in. And we can do that right now. So bring back your plane, which is your plate. Rename it plate if you like. I'm going to do that now. Drag it up. And position it correctly. It should look around similar to this. And make sure that the this, this cube, which is going to be the stamp, so like a hole punch, is all the way through the part. And that looks perfect. So we're going to go into the plate and add a modifier, the boolean modifier, difference, and select our cube. And then we're going to, un we're going to hide the cube. And that looks like the plate. So we're going to apply that. And now we can delete the cube. So our plate's done. Now we can make the PCB. So we're going to get the dimensions of the plate. So 95mm. And we're going to make another plane. Which is 95mm. Hopefully it's remembered that I had that before. But it's 0, 0. And we're going to add exactly the same. 1.5mm. And we're going to select these edges and do the exact same thing as we did to the plate. So bevel these around 3mm. Only need 4. So we only need 0 0.2, 0 0.2. And two segments is fine for this scale. Then we extend it to our keycaps length. First, position it and then extend. To be that length. So that's perfect. Now we can hide our keycaps. And once again, we're going to make a stamp for our switches pins to go in. And for that, again, we'll need the keycaps. We'll not need the keycaps, we'll need the key switches. And we're going to hide our PCB. So we'll name that PCB and then hide it. And we're going to make a stamp effectively. A cube, which is around 10 millimeters. Place it like this, place it here. And then we're going to add holes or cylinders wherever those cylinders are on our on our switch. So you make sure you do it in edit mode because otherwise it, it's not going to punch in correctly. And then we're going to scale it in to be just larger than the one on the switch. And then you can do the same for each of the holes for the pins. Some boards have little pins for LEDs, so we're going to make those as well because that's a nice option. So we can duplicate them and add them in. They're smaller, I don't know why. That looks good. And once again, the cylinders are way too long. So we're going to select the cylinders and we're going to scale them as well as the cylinder in the middle. Don't forget that one. On the Z axis to be much much smaller and we're going to move them down and then once you do that you will be done so now you can duplicate this for each of your switches And then once you've done that, you can close edit mode and admire your work. So now we can add in screw holes and for that we'll need the plate because we want them to be in the same place. So add a cylinder which is just smaller than the ones on the, on the plate, so 1.5. And then position them inside them. 
because the screws will hold down the PCB, not the plate, and the plate just needs to have holes in it. There we go. And now, once again, we're going to add holes for our stabilizers, but in this time, we're not going to cut them squares, we're going to make for our stabilizers. So let's do that. So add another cylinder and make it just taller than that. And then duplicate that and move it down to around there. And then select them both in X-ray mode and duplicate them. And these two need to be a bit closer, but that looks good. So we're going to select both of them and duplicate them for those. Position them roughly equally apart, apart from the switch. And that fits perfectly in there. So there we go. Now we've got holes for the switches and the screws and the stabilizers. But as you can see, I uh, maybe not able to see actually all of this all of these are not the right height when you're doing this. But so That looks good. Now we're ready to punch the holes in the PCB. So we can bring that the PCB and close the switches. And now we can bring the PCB up to where so that all the holes are cutting through the part. That looks perfect. So we're going to go into the PCB's modifier tab, Boolean. And again, select the cube. It's going to take a while to. Okay, I think that's worked. I think this is just a weird visual error. It's worked on all of the parts apart from here. So we're going to go into edit mode of this and figure out why this isn't working. Ah, might be because it's too close to the edge. So we're going to select these two in x-ray mode and move them up slightly there we go that's enough and then we can hide them again and that's worked now it's gonna work so if it's not quite working you can just move them because it's gonna be clipping the edge of the wall so then we can go into the PCB object mode and apply this modifiers don't work in the edit tab so make sure you don't catch yourself out there but there we go we've done we've done the, the plate and the PCB in today's episode we've made real progress today so tomorrow we're going to be continuing with the making the case stabilizers and the and the screws so like comment subscribe all of that and thank you for watching